Good morning. How is everyone this fine day? Well, we're going to make something very cool, a little witchy miniature here. I'm just going to go through some of the stuff that we're going to make today, possibly be making one extra thing. If we have time, we may make also a little broom. But what we have here, nothing is glued down. So we're going to start off the cameras backwards, a little book of shadows, a couple little mushrooms on here. We're going to have a, a leather effect. So we'll be doing a textured effect, as you can see here. We are going to bind this book as well. It is actually sewn in and bound. It is a usable little book of shadows. These are dyed paper from coffee and tea. So we'll rock that. I'm just going to grab a sip of some tea here. Oh, I have some amazing green tea. And another thing we're going to be making is we have a few different variations of a wand. This wand here has a little quartz crystal at the end and we'll make a few different styles today and we'll figure out the best one that's going to suit our little diorama. Apologies. And we are going to make a beautiful little witch's hat. And this little hat has a little mushrooms along the side, and we're going to paint those as well today. I do not have any gray left, but I'm going to use an aquamarine or a black felt today to make those. We're going to make some scrolls here today. And we'll have those ones on here. We might throw a little sigil or something on there. Maybe make a sigil for today. My dog needs to be let out. So I'm just going to hit that while no one's here yet. Come on, puppies. Let's go outside. Awesome timing. Let's go. Let's go. Give me one second here, people. I'm so sorry. Oh, bad timing. But no, we don't have anybody on yet, so... Letting out the pooch first here. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. Shitty timing. Okay. All right. I'm back. Okay. Sorry about that. That was sucked a little. Now what we have here is little potion bottles. So we have different labels that we're going to be using. This one's Just Direct. And we'll have, we'll make some little concoctions with that. This little poison bottle. You can get these bottles anywhere. Dollar stores are usually the ticket here. We'll mix these up here. And why we just use some food coloring oil and water. Now this part here, the cauldron, I first when I first put it on, I glued it on. But today when we make this, I'm not going to glue this part on. I really like interactive things. So I like all this stuff here. Like there's some detail in here. So it's nice to be able to pick them up and touch them. I even like painted gold on the Oh my goodness, we're going to have fun. So this here today we're going to also going to be painting the moons we'll be adding the little bitty mushrooms along here i got a little bitty if we could see it a snail here as well and then we'll make all the mushrooms and whatnot to put in painting the handles too so let's put this just off to the side just for now Make sure we could still see that, all our little goodies. Okay, let's just get some stuff out of the way here, and then we'll pull some things out as we need it. So we're going to start off with a little bit of a cauldron here. Now, this cauldron is super cool. You do not believe how I found it. I didn't find it at Halloween time, would you believe it? I found it. St. Patrick's Day stuff. <laughs> so a little luck of the Irish here. We got a little pack of five little, little pots, and I grabbed a few of them. We're going to use some for uh, Halloween as well, the uh, Samhain when that comes up. 
But let's start off with here. So you can either paint gold here, but where I'm going to go with uh, silver because I'm going to be doing some aquamarines here with this one. I'm going to use an aquamarine uh, for my felt for the hat. So I thought, mm, I think silver will look cooler. So we're going to hit that instead with silver. So we're going to make it very, very easy. While the tip, I just got this out of the package. So the tip is like super, super fine. While we have that, let us go to the front. Starting off with our moon. So you can lay down any design that you would like. But using one of these pens is a lot quicker and easier and sharper ah, than a paintbrush. Oh, that's awesome. When I first painted this, when I made this little miniature uh, a couple nights ago, I hand painted it all with the gold. But I really like the moons and the silver. It's a little oblong. I'm feeling it. All right, let's just do some moon phases. Boop. And super easy to fill in. I should be able to get that a little sharper. Come on now. Now that I made that one bigger, I'm gonna have to make this one a little bit bigger. And that's a way to hide your mistake. <laughs> oh, for sure. There, voila. Easy peasy. And I hit a moon on this side too. You can hear my puppy walking around. See if I can sharpen these up. Go lay down. Go lay down, Violet. Violet up. My dog wants underneath a blanket that's behind me. There we go. All right, you gotta hit a fat moon on this side too. Oh, this is so much quicker and easier. And it, when I did the gold with the metallic gold, or the deco art brand is really good, but I still have to do like three layers. So I'm finding this one layer is super nice. A little quicker indeed. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to make this one a little thicker. That's not bad. Yeah. All right. Let's hit the handles now. I'm just going to do a light trace just to pop those out. Heck yeah. Pop those out quite nicely. Oh, I'm like in the silver. I like the gold on it too. And I painted the moons with a metallic green when I did this the other day. Do, do, do. But I'm really, really, really feeling the silver. Yeah, these paint pens are definitely easily sharpie. Paint metallics are easy to work with. A little cheat hack for sure. All right, let's hit the other handle. I so wish I could have music on, but then if I load it up, YouTube will say that, hey, we got some copyrighted material, and they won't let me load it. 
So what I'll do, I'll take this video later and then I'll edit it and we'll do a little time lapse. We'll speed it up so it'll be a little bit easier to rock out. Now we're going to color the handle here as well because I think it looks plasticky, but if we give it a little bit of a metal, I think it'll look a little bit more realistic. As much as a miniature cauldron could look. <laughs> It just helps pop it, hit the sides. So I would love to do some more witchy miniatures. So if any of you have any cool ideas, for some witchy little dioramas or anything, I'd like to do maybe a a kitchen witch one. I think that'd be cool. I have some miniature items from an old dollhouse that I think I could use in there too. I love it, miniatures. I have like small addictions to miniatures for sure. Just using the side of the pen and this is flowing so sweetly. See if I can get down in there a little bit or maybe it'll pop out. Do these pop out? Ah, I'll leave it. Hmm. So I'll we'll hit this first. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting the base and putting on the grass. Now, I found that you don't really need to buy the diorama grass. What you can use is just some cheap reindeer moss, dollar store, and you just cut it up as fine as you want. Just sit back one night and just cut up moss while you're watching a TV show. That's what I did. Oh, this is starting to get a little light here. There we go. But it was drying up on me. I was like, what? Already? I just opened the package. I really did. Hmm. There we go. Now it's working. I was wondering why I wasn't taken on the inside. Badoop. I can hear my neighbor coughing outside. My God, why does that guy continue to smoke? He's so young and he works up a lung. You can hear him from a mile away. So gross. Hear my neighbor outside. We are finally getting a little bit nicer here for weather, but oh my goodness. This winter has been long, but it has been mild for my area anyway. Not much for snow and not much for cold this winter. Last winter was harsh, actually. It was so bad. Uh, in my Van Zen Doja, in my boogie van, I had to, like, replace a battery. It froze up so bad I lost I almost lost my Jeep battery, too. Joys of living in Canada. It can be muddy, muddy cold. All right, that looks pretty sweet. All right, I'm happy with that. Oh, I see something in the camera I missed somewhere. Ah, right, there it is. Twisting and turning. There we go. There we go. Boy, I cannot wait for camping. If anybody knows how a beautiful and amazing it is here in Canada, camping is the way to go. Um, now, give me one sec here before I continue. What's our next? I got to look. I have actually a piece of paper here. I got to watch. Next is our base. Let's just. Put that little dude there. Okay. Let's go back in its home. Now, I was hoping, actually, if it would be wicked if I had a bigger piece of wood to put this on. That would have looked awesome. Uh, you could use cardboard. Uh, whatever you'd like, just cut out. A, it doesn't need to be anything. It doesn't need to be wood or anything. I just use this as, as just what I had available. Uh, I would 
also use the back of artist boards, the artist drawing paper. There's that thicker cardboard we use, but I thought, oh, look at that. Ah, it's one of my old Timber Spirit handcrafted since 2020. That's my branch. I'm an amateur woodworker. I got a little wood brand for it. Oh, this is coming off here. Maybe you have to glue that. Yeah. Just burn myself casually. Okay, so we don't need to put grass over the whole thing, but we are going to paint. So we'll paint the base. So if anything pops out, you won't see. This camera's messing me up because it's going backwards. Yeah. Now what the base doesn't need to be anything fancy because it's just more just to hide the whatever color if you have underneath. So I'm just mixing kind of a moss, using a moss green with the brown. Now with this one I painted to the edges brown but I had the green. I'm going to do green to the edges with this one. See if that pops and it doesn't look as dark. All right, if I put too much paint on it, it will take too long to dry. So we'll just let that dry and we're going to work on some moss here. Let that dry for a moment. Now it kind of sucks there's some red on here. This is actually the reds from my saw blade when I cut this ash wood here. But I should have sanded that, I guess, before the show next time. Okay. So I've got, I pre-cut some moss here. We're going to use this for the grass, but it looks like I need a little bit more of it cut up. So... that base is drying get some moss cut up here now this stuff is like really it's not super dried out it's actually feels like it's it's like soft it's movable and you can really it's a nice you don't so when you're trimming it you're not getting dust all over as well oh hello hello how are you doing all the way from Montana, we have joining in the house here right now. So instead of buying diorama grass, which I I haven't bought and looked at in years, and when I was I looked up on Amazon instead of a hot because hobby shops are gonna be obviously they have their markup. So I looked on Amazon and holy Moses, can there ever 
they are expensive. So I'm going to make my own grass. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to buy, if I'm going to do another diorama, I'm also going to buy some catnip and just use that as grass. <laughs> I think that'll work out. It looks like someone else was selling that online. All right. This is still needs a few more minutes for some dry time. I can't put on the grass just yet. So, well, that's drying. We'll have to come back to that. I put on too much glue, so that's just going to have to chill there for a little moment. Oh, too much paint, I mean. All righty, get this cleaned up here so I could use this again. That'll do. Okay, next we have, we're going to sculpt our mushrooms. We got polymer clay here. Polymer clay I found was really great to use. And holy cow, it, it only takes like one layer of paint as well. Now you could use, I brought this too. This is natural modeling clay. Would you believe it? It's just $1.75, $1.50 in uh, the States. And the stuff is just an air dry. Tastes a little longer. I like the fake stuff. Both of them are equally cool to paint. But I find this stuff is like a one layer paint and it takes it really well. So we need to make some mushrooms. We need to make a couple different styles of mushrooms. We need to make some thinner ones. We need, or some tiny ones. And we are going to make some medium sized ones. Now I don't have time to bake them. So I have some that are pre-baked and we're gonna paint some together. And I forgot my knife. Nope, I got one. Reaching, reaching. Now we want these stems to be a little bit longer. This is so cute. I love all the little and things. We're making something little. Oh, I gotta mush this in here. There we go. Now we can see it in our corner. I'm gonna make some little mushrooms here right now first. So we'll get a ball. I'm just working it and playing with it. I love working with polymer clay. I just got into working with polymer clay here this past couple months. I've always used air dry clay and polymer clay is like, oh man, for one package, like package, it's like half this size by a little bit, it's like 20 bucks. Stuff's ridiculous. Let's throw that down there. But it lasts a lot longer and you can leave it out and you don't have to worry about it, it drying out on you, which is really, really wicked. We got to make some little teeny tiny mushrooms too. I'm going to show you how we're going to rock those ones. But let's just hit and smooth out our top. It's kind of like you want to make a little bit of a pyramid. I'm not too worried what it's going to look like underneath. All this stuff is so quick and easy to work with. I was making little miniature mushrooms last night. Oh my God. I was up till two o'clock in the morning making miniature mushrooms in jars. My daughter was like, you didn't make a video out of it? I'm like, oh, I was all set up with the camera right here. I couldn't. Okay. Now we got to make is little, we got to make those little guys. And now you can have some fun with the curves too. Uh, you can... They don't have to be perfectly straight too. Cause then you can have, like I got a few of them like coming out the side on an angle. So now we got to make these little teeny tiny 
already got like paint all over me. Teeny tiny little dudes. Now, if you notice, it's got a little bee sting here. So let me show you what I did. I gotta find my things here. And we have to not to forget to. So we gotta make some snails. I forgot. We kind of may forget to do little snails. All right. Cute some snails and puppy dog tails. All right. We got lay out some mushrooms here. Let's look on these little guys. So if you actually bake these, I did do a check when it's at the, um, the polymer clay is like 135 or something or something around there for uh, about 35 minutes. And these didn't melt. I was quite pleased. So it worked. So let's make some of these little guys here too. So we want just a little bit of pliers here. Brandy, hello, how you doing? How's your daughter doing? Love the color choices she'd made. Love the ideas. Oh, this little guy's off centered. Let's grab a different guy. I should be ready for paint soon. So you just give them a little bit of a fold, a bend a fold into your pins and you can pick those up super, super inexpensive too at the dollar store. Now you're going to grab a little ball. Doo -doo -doo. And you're just going to do a little bit of a squish here, super thin, squeeze it out a little bit. And you're going to wrap and you're going to wrap the base of this. So I just roll it on to it and make your little mushroom bit here. Just pinch off what you don't need. At first, it's going to be a wee bit of a pain, but you just got to keep pinching it. And then Work it around your edges. Oh. Okay, so we got this one going on. Now I just would bring my finger in to the center because we don't want them too sharp. And then just pat the edges out. So we'll hit one more and then we'll make a little tops for them. Now I did go ahead and have some pre-made. And that way, because it's actually quite epic, I actually took me a couple hours painting these mushrooms. So we're not going to do that today on this live show. It's just far too long. I'm doing great, lovely. And I'm glad you enjoyed her ideas. I love it. I had the perfect visual of the exact color she was meaning too. Yeah, I have a really nice piece of wood that I found that I've been saving. I think I might have even had it in my snake tank for a while when I had a snake. <laughs> but that one now deserves to have mushroom lights. Yes. Now we got to make a little mushroom cap for this guy. She's super excited to watch your videos. Yay! I think I'm going to do one of these to use as my incense burner. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can make a incense holder. Boop. Out of, um, oh, I squished it again. Out of uh, the polymer clay too after you bake it. You can put a, oh, a little something. I think that's too big. Let's try another little size.
Okay, and there's one more thing we have to do. One more trick. Because if you take this and you use the pen, you poke yourself. So what I did, I used one of my bent ones. I got paint on me here. I used just one of my bent ones, and then I made the little mushroom cap. And then just cruise it down on here. Oh, it's a little bit tedious with these guys, but then you got your nice little cap. So those are done. We're going to have a bunch of those little guys ready. I might as well just make one more cap. <laughs> Since I got that one already ready. There. Cruise that off to the side. I need this to dry. So we need to hop back to this one for a sec. So we'll come back to sculpting here in just a moment on mushroom bottoms because I need to finish. I got to do some uh, snails. Ooh, one thing we're going to be doing today. Oh, I love that idea incense holder heck yeah <laughs> can hear my dog snoring in the background okay so we need back our grass And any white glue will do. I'm just using a ridiculous amount here. I probably will take a bit of that off. Hmm. Yeah, my dog snore. All right, Violet, dude. Hey. It's a good dream. Yeah. So we want a lot of that grass, the moss grass that we made to stick. So you do want a thicker amount on. Now I also have to place where I'm going to be placing that wood piece too. I don't need to put grass there. I don't need to waste it. And it may not sit as well either. So I'm going to just scrape some bits here. <laughs> I like don't know where to put stuff. Okay. Huh. That should stay down quite nicely. Now I'm just going to maneuver a little bit more glue around the edges here. That should be cool. Now I am going to grab paper towels of less, less. Oh, too tall. Now this is the way to do it. None of this $20 package of, of little diorama grass. All you need is some moss. Heck yeah. $1.25 moss. That's just all we need. And one thing I like about the Mod Podge that I used as well, 
Um, it will dry clear and you won't have a white gloom there. So you'll see the green that I painted on the, on the uh, outskirts there too. And then when that dries, I'll just flip it upside down. We'll tap off any excess. I used quite a bit of that moss. I'm glad I cut it extra. Ooh. All right, just patting it down, getting in there. We'll just put that off to the side now. We will come back. I have to stand up. I'm going to move this. We'll squish it over here. And we will come back to that. So I'm just going to clean off the glue here, and we'll come back to our sculpting now. Now that I got glue all over me. Yeah. Okay. We got those guys. We have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. We got a bunch of those that we'll bring in just a moment. But let's now these are the difference in little dudes here. This one I made. Let's see if the camera will take it. This one I made, and that's one my daughter made. She makes hers with a little bit more of a cartoony body. Mine was a little more slender, but I kind of, I like hers. So we're going to do hers. I like how she made that. Oop, let's put the glue on. Uh, okay. I'm going to make a couple of little snails. Now these little snails, these colors here with the, I do use the metallic of the aqua and the blue. So that's why I'm thinking we're going to have a little more fun with that. Oh yeah. We could also do our wands. We'll do our wands next here too, I think. Okay. What am I making here? So to make the snail body, you want to make kind of a cone, so not just a bit of a snake. So going from smallest and just give it a little curl. Boom, done. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. It's got kind of a bump. It's it, they're really dirty because my teeth. I got moss on here. I don't know if you can see it, but the clay is getting like super dirty. Same as this guy. It's no longer really white, but we're gonna be painting them, so that's all cool. Alrighty, so bloop. And what I did, so they were easy to, to paint. I just threw a little, it was just easier to hold that way too. And then what I do, I just uh, snip that off the end and I use that as the piece to go in to help hold. Okay, so now that we got that, all those sculpted, we may have to do one more thing here. Let's make our wands and then we'll paint everything. I'm just gonna make a mess. So we have some different style of wands that we could do. Oh boy, oh boy. Where's my other wand? And there's one more wand. And we want crystals. Always got to have the crystals. I love the My Wishing crystals. I thought they'd be tiny enough to make tiny little wands. 
I make wands and I do uh, witches craft shows and I just have wands. Now this year I'm going to do like little spell bottles and such and that. But um, uh, my wands sell like absolute. Oh, that one's perfect. That was easy to find. Sell like absolute hotcakes. They are so much fun to make. And I always got these giant fat crystals or mushrooms at the ends and everything. It'd be cool. Alrighty. So these little crystals, you may have seen me using my spells and stuff on my channel. These I bought by the kilo. <laughs> I've had them for like 10 years, but I use them for everything and every little, every little thing I can find. I leave them behind. I put them in my pocket. I give them away, but we're going to make... I'm kind of pre-made this one. This one's already baked. It's a little bit big in comparison. Hmm. We're going to paint this one anyway today. That one's already baked. This one is a little wood one with the crystal on the end. And this one we're going to paint kind of like a little... Did you see that? I just did... Um... What was that? The, it's the unlocking incantation. Oh, yeah. I've been learning my Harry Potter wand swish and swirls. Yes. Pronunciate. I mean, you watching, I mean, I play Hogwarts app and I learn all my swish and my swirls and everything. I love all my wands. I need to do a wand video. It's ridiculous. I need to do a wand video. I have so, I have a serious wand collection. It's, rather rather ridiculous let us go to this so i didn't have toothpicks so i thought screws would probably do the trick so we're gonna need a hot glue gun where did i put oh no i put that crystal back in that was like the perfect crystal i found too oh dear oh that was like the perfect one i threw it back in oh carol Let's see, what else do we got here? It was a great size. Hmm. Possibly. Might be a bit big. Oh, fart. Let's see here. Oh, that one's not bad. How big are you? No, you're too tiny. Too tiny. Oh, I wish I knew where that crystal was. Oh, what's that one? That's got potential. All right, that one's a little shorter. Okay. Back to what we need to do is a serious controlled hot glue moment. So we're going to create some little knobbies on the wood here. And what I like to use... You got to keep turning, go slow. There it is, so slow. And you pull it around it. You try not to let it touch. And the trick is to use a cheap dollar store one because the, um, they're not as hot. So you're able to control the hot glue and make some really cool patterns. I've made leaves and everything and bumblebees and flowers with hot glue on my wands. But the, but the secret is a hot glue gun that is not very hot. So I buy the cheap ones to do my wands. I'm like holding my breath. Okay. Let that cool for a bit here. Oh, oh my God. I love that light that I made. I was going to put it by my bed stand, but my daughter won't let me. So I have to do, 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 where's my pliers? It's downstairs. And now that it's downstairs, I'm adding all kinds of mushrooms and designs with them. Just waiting for this to cool a little bit more. Then I can cut it. Now 
we're going to glue. Now you want to create a little blob of glue at the end. Let's see if we can see this a little better. Oh, let's see if I can go right over top of this. And you want to create a nice little blob of glue because when you stick your this little mini crystal in the center, it'll create another knot around it. Let's see if we can control the glue so it's not, ah, fart, I just touched it. Eee. There we go. It's like surgery. Lining up the crystal. Now I have to hold it. And we'll just see. Now it created another little knob. Oh, this is a good one. Yay. Oop, bonking. I need something darker underneath to show you. There we go. Then what we'll do, we'll color all those little knob parts in with the black. Or no, let's do aqua. We're gonna do that one, aqua. That's what's happening with this one. Oh, this one's gonna be aquas and blues, maybe touch of purple. <gasps> mm, okay. So now magic of YouTube land. Ping. They're all baked. So let's move away the unbaked ones. Now what I've done, because it's a half an hour to bake and it's a few hours to paint. <laughs> and that I just don't want to. So I have a bunch of these little dudes all ready to rock. They're all painted, they're all lovely. We're gonna paint just a couple together, but those ones are ready to go. I got, this stuff is sticky. It's like from, uh, it's like for working with lights and plants, not lights, uh, plants. And what I did here, I mounted all my all my mushrooms on the side of a box and I painted it that way instead of having to hold them it was just a little bit easier so we're gonna go how many we need one two three four five and then I have two tiny ones on the book so I'll grab the two smallest ones for the book that one's small hmm That'll have to be for the book. And then we will need one, two, three, four. Oh, that's a good one. Five. And we'll put these ones back. I love these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. I love all things tiny. Eee! Miniature things. Okay, that's the book. That'll keep separate. We don't need these. Let's do some painting. Okay. So I forgot to get my orange, but I have my red. Hmm. So, excuse me for a moment, I'm going to grab an orange. I'm glad I'm, my whole setup, I actually, I don't have a dining room. My whole dining room is an entire craft room. It's ridiculous. So I forgot I put some orange on the mushrooms as well. Wait. And we're going to grab some warm white, some blanc. Boop. And I didn't have any of these little guys, but I'm sure we can figure out how to paint those together. Now, 
I don't need that. We're going to grab Am I going to use that one? Oops, I think that had glue on it. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Paintbrushes are getting old, my friends. Okay, so... Oh, I was saying the polymer clay takes color incredibly well. Holy smokes. It is so, so, so good. And it, like I said, just one coat numbers. Hello, Tamara. How you doing? What is shaking? Another BC here in the house. We got Georgia, Montana, and British Columbia here representing today. See, I remember all you. I love all you guys. Let's see here. Well, we don't need these anymore. Let's squish out of the way. Now that's drying. Do, 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 do. It's going to take some beige, some off-white. And I'm just going to, whatever happens, happens, mix it. I kind of like that it's messy on the brush. You're doing awesome. That is fantastic. We're having some fun here today. Just doing some miniatures. We're building everything first, and then we will assemble everything. Boop, 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 boop. Sound effects are needed. And I put on the paint kind of thick because I like how it dries like that and it gives uh, gives it some texture. Now, what I like to use for my dots, I have these little tools that I used. Uh, I used them for stenciling and that, but now I've been using them for my sculpting. And they're really great for making dots. My mom showed me that. I used to use... I used to use the end of a brush to make my dots. And she said, no, no, these are amazing. So these are what we're going to use today. To, to do, to do. Let's see how we are dry. We're not quite dry here, but we're going to go ahead just so I can demonstrate. Just a little dabble do you. Let's find a dry spot. And then as it's as it's running out, it'll actually give tinier dots. So you can just kind of be haphazard with that. I usually do the tinier dots near the end and then uh, makes a, a little more realistic, I guess. And you don't want to think about it when you paint it. Don't just go. Just go fast as you can. Oops, I forgot to put the orange on it. I'll have to do it on that one. Ah, that's funny. I got the orange out and then I forgot to paint the orange. I got excited. What's the weather like down there? Because up in Alberta, we're still got we still got the cold. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this because it's <laughs> All right, I got to show you the, the the orange effect. <laughs> I forgot to do the orange that I did on all those. I really wish though I had like um, a mandarin orange. This orange is not it's not nice. But what it's it's craft paint from the dollar store. I can't complain. So I will mix in my red and get the color that I want. It's raining there. Oh, raining there. Raining in. 
raining in Vancouver. See, it's so funny. When I moved to Alberta, they're like, oh, you're from Vancouver Island. You're from the coast. It rains all the time, but it's a different type of rain. It's warm. It's a rainforest. There, that orange stands it out. That looks way cooler. We have to do that. But it's just like, it never stopped me from doing anything ever when it rained. If it rained, I just, let's walk in the rainforest and not a disability. It's just keep going. And you can swim in the water when it's still raining. Okay. Now that these are dry, we're going to make those two aqua and blue. But this one is going to be going the brown and the black. Kind of like, oh, you can hear my dog snoring again. Kind of like Dumbledore's. Dumbledore's wand. A miniature, very, 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 very miniature version. Puppies are snoring so hard. What's the weather been like in Georgia? I love that. I love, Georgia is so gorgeous. And the accents kill me. They're so, so beautiful. Alrighty, just laying in some brown for the wood. It's so tiny. Ah. Ah. I need spring so bad. I'm I'm ready. Like I said, though it hasn't been bad here. We really, really really haven't had the like I said last year we had the cold weather the winter before so it was so cold I lost a couple batteries Harry Potter movie weekend here I love Harry Potter all right Aloha Mora pronunciate Oh, no, that was Lingardian Leviosa. That's the pronunciate. Yes. Yes. I definitely am a Harry Potter fan. Oh, my God. I was watching uh, YouTube, a Nerd Forge, and she made this diagonally Harry Potter book nook diorama. She is so incredibly talented. I could watch her videos all day long and I'm all I do is craft and watch craft and watch. I'm so inspired Norwegian chick. That just is amazing. Harry Potter is so magical for both adults and children. That's what I think makes Harry Potter so special. All righty. Ah. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to put this down for it to dry. Ah. But that's okay. That's a okay. There. Oh, so cute. And I still haven't figured out how to have me and have my hands on video and my face on video. I need to be like, okay, that's staying there now. I'm not touching it. It dropped it. <laughs> I'll have to touch with the paint if I need be. It lives there now. That's okay. Let us move this gingerly. And let us go to... These ones are going to be inspired by these guys because I didn't have any more gray felt. So we are going to, oh, the camera doesn't pick it up as nicely. What? Oh, man, this is actually all aquamarine and the camera's not picking up this gorgeousness. But it's all inspired by this one. So that's why we're doing 
where the felt is going to, the hat is going to be aqua with this one. So what we're also going to be doing, which don't let me forget, this one here is all flat colors. Glamour dust. This has mica powder in it. So I'm going to be hitting the, um, the mushrooms that we need. Everything is going to get sparkleized. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so these two little dudes are our inspiration. And now this one's going to be a touch different. That's why we went with the silver with this one. And this one we did uh, gold. Gold with that. But now we're going to have, we're going to bring in some aquas and blues. I have, did you guys know, I own a boogie van. 1988 Dodge B52 boogie van named Van Zen Doja. And yes, indeed, my colors are aquamarine with burgundy. And I already had burgundy and gray, like a silver, but I changed the whole interior to aquamarine. Hee <laughs> So awesome sauce. Okay, so these wands need love. Oh, I brought some uh, alcohol-based felt pens, and I've never done it before, but it they seem to work a lot of stuff. I may paint the end of this crystal to make it look like aqua or something to, to go with it. We'll see what colors happen here. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Let's start off with this one because this one I'm not going to be using with this diorama. I just made it because it's, I really like it. <laughs> I wanted to see if we could also make, this is my first one that I made before. I was like, oh yeah, toothpicks to make them smaller. So let me just experiment with this one first and then we'll figure out what's going to happen here. Hmm. Got to figure it out. Maybe... Okay, I got it. How about I paint these first? Because I know what I want with these ones. Because these sometimes take a couple layers. This is a color changing, color shift. This will be... This will have a bit of a blue shine with it too on top of the purple. Kind of like it's... Oh... It's actually, hmm. Aw. <laughs> That's because I'm Canadian. Yeah. Oh, it worked out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's working. We have amethyst. Oh, color changing, dude. Oh. Oh, yay. Okay, you can just chill for a second. I'm excited. Let you dry. Yeah, because this is color changing, it's transparent. It looks like it's going to take me a couple layers to paint. So it worked out great. I hope you guys don't mind that I actually just painted over a crystal. They can still breathe. This crystal has purpose now. It has, it's in a wand. I always kind of wonder when they, you know, those resin, those pyramid resins where people put all the crystals inside of them, all the little resin bits. Can the crystals breathe? Oh, I got this paint, uh, the color shift paint. Uh, I get them at Michael's Craft Store. One of my favorite ones. I oh, yeah, said so I was painting a mushroom last night. Let me reach. Uh, is this actually I'm not a pink girl. But this is a pink, and then the color shift is a gold. It is so amazing. They come in every color. But, yeah, Michael's Craft Store, I get them a, as a treat now again. You get their coupon for, like, 30 to 40% off. Then I get my paints. The colors. Oh, Tamara, you make wands? Oh, my God. I use the color shift paint in my wands. You will die.
Yeah, this stuff is really, 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 really pretty. All right, so it took a couple layers. I'm doing a third here for a quick second, so leave that. Now let's hit this one. Ah, Tamara, what do you make your wands out of? Do you use wood doweling or I use a wood doweling and then I sand it down to a point and then I attach my mushrooms or oh, you send a picture of my email. Whoa, I can't wait to see. And then I put my crystal, I blew my crystals and do all kinds of stuff on mine. Oh, I'll have to see your, my email today. Yay. I can't wait to see your wands. Mushroom themed month. I'm supposed to be on like, I've only, I've only but a couple of videos out for this month so far, but everything's supposed to be like growth and fertility and new beginnings. I was going to be doing, I'm still, am. I'm just distracted with mushrooms. Um, supposed to be doing with the uh, eggs and I have, I'm going to be doing some sprout your desire spells and whatnot this month. But all I've been doing is making mushrooms. <laughs> I made this the other night just for fun on Thursday night. And I was up till like, Oh God, I think I went to bed at four in the morning and then I'm like, I should make this as on a live video. So then I decided to make all this stuff to go with this. And just kept going. And then I started watching Harry Potter shows so I can get ideas for miniatures. Oh, my God. I went down that rabbit hole of miniatures. But I'm addicted to making wands. I had this one guy on my Etsy store account when I was selling the wands on Etsy. Someone got jealous and said I copied them and I can't sell my wands on Etsy anymore. I don't know how that is possible when each wand is absolutely unique on its own. So some jealous person reported me to copyright infringement on Etsy. But before I could do that, I got to make a little, the tiniest wand I have ever made for a daddy. This daddy is that his daughter's tooth was loose and she wanted her to believe in the tooth fairy. So what I did, I took one of my smallest, all oh, even smaller than this, one of my smallest um, paint brushes and I sacrificed it and it came to a nice tip and I cut off that because I didn't have, I didn't think of the skewers or this, it was just wasn't, wasn't enough. And I made this tiny little fairy wand and sent and it had mounted a little tiny amethyst crystal to it, everything. Oh. It's so much fun. So I hope I made a little girl happy. He was going to be putting flour out and then putting little teeny tiny footprints in the flower. Like he had planned. I tried to make that wand as fast as I could. And the shipping costs more than the actual wand to make. But they got a piece of my love there because it's one of my paintbrushes from when I, I had for probably over 30, 40 years. I didn't tell them I made it. Bamboo skewers. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. Where are they? I don't know where they went. I, every time I clean up, I've been moving stuff off to the side. There we go. Yeah, I was using bamboo skewers to make my little miniature wands here. Oh, holding my breath when it's in the smaller space. It's funny. And I need some blue on this too. Oh, there's a glue. Glue hair. Ew. Ooh, oh, you're so lucky. You also pick up branches on the beach. Oh, yeah the driftwood in that and the gnarly it's all cleaned off when i lived on vancouver island i used to get a lot of the wormwood um the wormwood that has i don't know if all anybody of you guys are familiar but it looks like thousands of holes that have been drilled out 
the worm, what is actually going to be doing some water witch, some sea witch shows here in the summertime I have planned. And uh, I'm going to, I have some wormwood still from the coast. I'm going to be bringing that into a little diorama somehow. Oh, I need to make mushrooms off of it. Oh my God. I need to make mushrooms on it. Yes. I'm addicted to those mushroom lights. It is heaven forbid. <laughs> I like that one. I'm happy with it. Tornado weather and rain here. Oh, yikes. Tornado alley. Yikes. Where I live, I, what they call it tornado alley. We used to get, okay, how, I don't, let's see. I wish I had a color shift blue. I don't have a color shift blue. I'll just see if I can do some dry. No, oh, I got to do a dry brushing. I have metallic blue, but it's not a color shift blue. So we'll just do some dry brushing on this. Hmm. Let's see if I can put some color shift into the blue. Oh, there we go. I win. Ha -ha. Oh, yes. There we go. How should I do this? I'll go this way. Just pull the paint. There's a place where I live. It's about three and a half hours away from here, but that's as close as I am to the mountain. So, um, and it's called... Nordig, and when there's the spring runoff from the mountains that go down into the man-made lake, all it looks it reminded me of driftwood from the from the from the ocean because it's, it's so beautiful cleaned off from being run off. And all the wood is white and just gnarled and cool. It's so neat. You can hear my Puppy snore, probably. You can hear her snore in a lot of my videos. She's always next to me. Okay, it's getting there. You can hear she's snoring up a storm again. Let's see if I can get some different color on that. Ugh. I'd rather rain right now than I'm done with the, pretty much done with the snow. Hmm. Okay. How did this one do it? I need to touch up anywhere. Nope. Yeah, don't look. Okay. So now we need to paint some sparkles on it. We'll let those guys dry and I need to, oh no, I have to make, I got to sparkle that up too. I'm all excited. Okay, what are we doing here next? We need to sparkle everything up before I kill everything. Those are already metallic. Those are super sparkle. Now this stuff is absolutely incredible. It's got mica powder in it. Let's see, I'll put you guys here. And I got more paint all over. Okay, so I would like a larger one, a couple smaller dudes, and a medium one. Okay. Maybe a good larger one. I want one that's curved. Yeah, I made some curvy dudes. Oh, I like that one. One, two, three, four. I'm going to grab an extra one just in case we feel like grabbing a bit more. Okay. Let me just. 
and move. I decided to empty that because what we're going to do and here are puppies, here are dogs next door. I love having these ones on little pins. This makes it so easier. I got to keep these two. These ones are the smallest. So I'll keep those ones off here. Wish I had some smaller dudes. Huh, I should have made some smaller ones. Oops. And so I thought this one will sparkle up since the other one was all flat. And I thought the sparkles would look really, really good, especially with the aqua and the silver. And this won't take too long to dry either. Well, what we'll do is we go to the hat is next. That one's so cute. We get to make some little barnacle mushrooms. But we'll get these ones all set up here. Ah, I got to do it. Uh, then we're getting closer and closer to the assembly. Oh, yeah, we got, there's still books. We're going to be binding a book today, too. This is going to be a long tutorial. This is a fun You guys can hang out with me. Just listen. You guys can ask questions, too. Oh, it's already drying. This stuff dries quick. Excellent. I needed that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sparkles. I don't do enough sparkles on this channel, but I want you guys to know that I use a ridiculous amount of sparkles in my life. I guess I've just tried to keep the channel like super nature oriented and natural, and I want people to realize we can just forage for a lot of our supplies for natural crafting. Um, this one today is a lot of polymer clay, not as natural, but I guess if it was warmer, I could have got my little branches and trees and moss from the forest too. Okay. And we're going to pick one of these guys. Don't need both but you're getting, you're metallic, but you're getting sparkleized as well. Oh, make, make mushrooms from uh, hot glue. And then you'll then put the mushrooms at the tip of the wand. Oh, okay. We need more sparkles. We don't need this little guy. Sparkles make the world go round. Okay. Easy peasy. I'm not going to do sparkles on these guys. Where's the original? Because they're flat. It looks more like wood. But I'm definitely sparkleizing. It's going to get ridiculous. So we will be bringing more sparkles into the channel. Sparkles are good. And I'm not much of a textile artist either. I'm, I've always just been a forest crafter, even when I was young. It's always like getting stuff from the forest. Okay, those can hang out. That little dude can hang out there. Let's put these off to the side. And let those dry. What I'm using, I also got, it's a deco art. Also, it's in the metallic section and it's a glamour dust and it's an ultra fine glitter, but it's like mica powder in here. The stuff is so, I don't know. It'll dry amazingly. It's got the mica powder in it. It's so fine. 
absolutely beautiful to use. Okay, let's set this off to the side. We're going to come back. I needed one thing. All right, hat is next. The hat's going to be quick. What we're going to need, I got to scatter. I have an entire table, I have a fold out table we're working on here right now. Okay. Now I gotta remember which circle that I did this in. <laughs> yeah, then it'll die and then we can see it. It's already drying. We got a nice mica powder. I think this would probably be the one. <coughs> Okay, these two ones, like this. Let's try to use hmm. I'm so frugal. I'm just trying to like I love the pink one too. The pink one and it has on my wands when I've used the pink iridescent, the pink color shift, and it has the gold is so, so amazing. Okay. Now that we have that cut out. Oh, where's my scissors? There we go. I'm prepared. I didn't forget. So we'll cut out the base of our hat here first. And then for the little barnacle mushrooms, I don't know what those ones are called. I can never remember the name of them. They look like this. Let me grab it. like these guys. So these are the ones that I got kind of mounted on the hat. I found some of these, dried them out. Looks like they might've been on birch. Gosh, there's something there. No log. So yeah, I'm gonna be making this. Uh, I'm collecting a bunch of dried mushrooms this year. I got it in my head now. I wanna make a little mushroom display case I was <laughs> I was watching magical not magical um wild forest wild forest witchery wild forest one and she did some natural forest crafting and one of them she did that she did a piece where she had just this block of, of um I'll put that off to the side a uh, block of wood, like a sh little, and she made a little shelf out of it, put moss in there, put mushrooms all in each, each little compartment. Instead of putting like your favorite spoons or something, we don't need this one now. They put all, all the favorite little mushrooms are so awesome. Did I make this too small? Let's see. I think I may have, ah, fart. Let's make another one. We're going back to the drawing board. Okay. Shoot the luck. Let's try another one. Which one was that one? Hmm. Okay. Let's do this one. I picked the wrong circle. Let's try. 
try another one. I need a more of a pointier on the hat. Oh, I love this color. I wish this color would show up. <gasps> Alice in Mushroom Land with mushrooms would be nice. Oh, fart. That sucked. Let's grab another piece. I want to do an Alice in Wonderland diorama so bad. I happen to have an Alice in Wonderland sleeve. I have the Mad Hatter tattooed on me. Oh, the ones I put on my wand are really wavy. Off-white with an orangey center called Healing Mushrooms. We should do a wand trade. Shit, this is small too. Did I just cut the same thing? What am I doing here? Why is this so small? All right. All right. What's going on here? Do I have another piece big enough? That's it, though. What's going on? Hmm. Okay. I will make this work with my last piece. I only need half this, so I don't, I'm actually will be okay. Where's the half point of my circle? Ha ha. Winning. Oh, a tooth fairy wand. Yes, indeed. Okay, it's my last one. This one's got to work. Because I have no more aqua left. I only have black. I really want aqua to match the wand. Every witch needs to color coordinate. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Ha ha. Okay. Let me just turn it around this way so I won't see my black mark of the felt pen. Okay, now we want to make this a little hook in here too. The way that's going to stay is when we go to glue down, let me trim a bit off here. When we go to glue down our edges, we want to put a, a little extra amount in, in the tip here, and then we're just going to mold it, putting that at the back. Let's see here. That looks good there. I might open it up just a little bit more. Get it lined up first. All righty. Without trying to burn myself and squishing in in the tip. And that's gonna, you might burn yourself a little. Ah, here we go, burning, burning. Ah. This part sucks, burning. <laughs> okay. Oh, casually burning self. <laughs> but the tip is working out better than my other one. Yay. Oh, every burn was worth it. Okay, I shouldn't screw that. Let it cool down. Yeah. <sighs> Casually burning. Okay. That's the base. I need that. Let's move these out of the way. We don't need those anymore. 
we want to put on our little mushroom dudes and those are going to be super quick to paint and we're going to have to use this pencil to paint with believe it or not here we're going to be making i'm going to teach you how to use a pencil to paint with it's the only way i figured it out to be able to get the dots that small okay that feels almost ready Mm hmm I like it. Now just putting the glue a little bit on the inside, not so it's more touching the inside than it is, so it won't you won't see the glob of blue. It will still stick. Let's have a look here. Giving it a squish. Pew, 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 pew. Oops, I shouldn't swear. Sorry. Okay. Now we're going to need our hot glue gun. I should just let that cool down for a sec. Now what I did, I took off the, the plastic bit on there so I can get at that tip a little bit more. Uh, I took off the plastic bit because also I use it when I was molding, molding sculptures as well. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so I can kind of see. Now we're going to use a glue gun to make some of these guys. Oh, I like the crinkles in that in the hat. Let's see if I can... Kind of looks like a Harry Potter sorting hat. The sorting hat. Fuck yeah. So I gotta stop swearing. Sorry. That's okay. When I do this video, there we go. We're gonna put little, little, little tiny bits of glue on it for our mushrooms. I'm going to be editing this video and I'll do a speed up time lapse so I'll be able to edit out anything I see at another time. So slow and so tiny. You don't want to blob it out. You want to keep these super small. Oh, and you can smooth it. Create kind of like a little little lip. Oh, holding my breath for this part because I do not have any more felt left over if I bugger this up. And I buggered that a little bit. Okay, we need to let that cool down before we can paint our mushrooms. So let's go... Let's squish this off to the side. Well, that cools down, and then we're going to we'll paint the mushroom super quick, but let's make our scrolls, and we'll get set up for our book here as well. So here's our scrolls. And I have some paper that I dyed. You don't need to dye the paper. I just happen to like the color. I did some projects in the wintertime for my mom for Christmas. So I, I made some junk journals for her. So when I made the junk journals, I dyed it. This is with, uh, which one's this one? This one's black tea. This looks like about an inch and a half. Let's measure this. We did two inches. Okay. So these scrolls are about two inches. Now... What I did, let's see if I can get three of them. <laughs> so what I did, I actually used my waxed 
for the wax stamp seal, but what we're going to use, not everybody has wax for stamping. We are going to use paint. So we're going to use a blob, which is actually be cooler because you can see how this one kind of, I would rather a nice little tight circle. So we're going to use some hot glue, let it cool, and then touch it with some red paint. And it's going to look like an actual wax, wax stamp seal. And it will actually probably look a little bit better and more controlled than this one. I would like it to be smaller. Now what you could do as well is you could put skewers inside. And where's my cutters? One moment. You know what? Might as well just do one. We're here. Let's tie this one up first. Let's see here, we'll just do a quick little bow. Get that one ready. Actually, I don't want strings that long. That looks ridiculous. Everything mini. While I'm waiting for the next stuff, I'm just gonna add a blob of glue, let it lock and load and seal in there. Put a blob of glue on the end, or you can glue a bead on the end. And then you just got to paint the ends and it'll look like an actual scroll dude. But let's finish up. We'll do these two scrolls super quick. Because look, this is getting cooled down. We can paint those. I'm just using embroidery floss for the black string. I tried red. I tried I thought red because I kind of see the red ribbon around scrolls. I kind of nodded that too much. Actually, let's undo that a little bit. And then with the with the red wax stamp seal, it didn't look as cool. It was just red on red with that. It just it didn't have the offset I needed. So I thought just the black embroidery thread will look cool. If I have enough. <clears throat> Okay, this one's just getting a knot. I don't have a long enough string for this or patience. <laughs> and one more. One, two, three. Let's just do three. Gonna dip those ends in brown. <laughs> Boop! We got a little wooden scroll. Where can I put this? Okay. I guess I could have waited to dip it after. And we'll just put a little blob of glue. I think a little bit more controlled is funner and that'll look more like a wax stamp seal than my actual blobs of seal that I made, which was, I still have fun melting wax. It makes me, it's very fun. Mm, alrighty. 
that can sit. This can sit over there. Now we're going to grab, let me just grab our red here quick. We're going to grab a darker red for the wax stamp seal than the brighter red. Super tiny. Boop. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. That's disappointing. Let's go for this one. Let's try this one. Mix those two up together. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I'm waiting for those to cool. Now, that's where the patience begins. Yeah. Okay, so we're just painting the underside first. Eek. So I just use a bit of a flat and then I just scoop from under and up. So it's a little, just trying to touch it on the bottom so I don't get any paint on the felt. Too much paint. Oh, these guys are going to be so cute. I love little teeny tiny mushrooms. I'm holding my breath again as I'm painting. With all these little teeny tiny little details. I want to make an Alice in Wonderland diorama. Oh my God. Let that dry for a sec. Ooh, that's a nice color together. That's what I wanted. And then just paint your look at that. Yay, it worked. Not bad. Didn't turn out too bad at all and not as messy. This is the actual wax stamp that you use and this is the hot glue. Like the hot glue one, it's a little more controlled. I like that little scroll. Yay. Okay. Scrolls are done. Let's put these scrolls off to the side. These aren't needed. That can hang out there. That's done. This is not needed. Grabbing a quick, and look at that. Oh, I can't show you, but I do have an Alice of Wonderland cup. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this should give it a little bit to dry. I see I need to touch up a little bit right here. Okay, we're going to add the top of the red of the mushrooms, and then I'm going to show you how to paint with a pencil. <laughs> oh. Wish I had a magnifying glass. Oh, it's so ginger. Oh, man, I, I cannot wait 
till we have some nice weather. I want to just go out and forage and collect stuff. I can't wait to rock hound in the riverbed where I am. Oh, got a glue hair there. I got planned for this month for the videos. I want to go collect a bunch of stuff and make a little nest. I'm going to be uh, teaching some Ukrainian Easter eggs. I've been showing my friends, having some fun here in this last month. I went up getting all my Easter egg dye all colored up and ready to rock. And then I've been making all kinds of Pisanka eggs. I can't wait to do a video on them because I love all the meanings behind the egg. I've actually done some non-traditional designs this year, which I've never done. I've always been like tradition, tradition, tradition. But why not? Why just, so I'm going to do some pagan eggs. There we go. The original Pasenka Easter eggs, Ukrainian Easter eggs, were uh, pagan. It was a year, here's some useless knowledge, it was the year 988 is when the Christians took over and they said now all these pagan, they were sun worshippers, the Ukrainians were sun worshippers and they deemed like all these designs were now, now have to do with nature and the forest, it's all would have to, it all has to do now with Christianity, they take everything. But I was thinking I might do some eggs of all different types, and it's not just Ukrainian eggs, but do some traditional designs and then do some what I want to invoke for the year. What do you want? You want a good harvest and good things going on. I need to let these dry again before. That's going to be a bit till I can draw hit that. So what we're going to do next is the book. Uh, let's get some stuff out of the way here. These wands are almost oh my god the sparkles oh sparkles make the world how the sparkles doing on there i gotta turn this up because it all dried oh, the sparkles on here are incredible again apologies i don't do enough sparkles on this show it will happen oh let's have a look here oh that just makes the world go round it's shinier and sparklier Sparklier, is that a word? It is today. Exactly. All right, is this dry? Am I gonna make a mess if I put my paper down? All right, starting off, we are going to need this again. We're going to need this one. I After I dyed it with tea, this is all tea. And then I, I squished on uh, coffee on it. I like the pigments on it. So let's grab all our stuff for the books now. We don't need, I got crystals still sitting here. We need this out of the way. Don't need this. We're going to need a little book cover. We're going to need some cardboard. And I'm going to use these big scissors for trimming the pages. Oh, trying to sit back down in my chair. And then what I have here is we're actually going to be binding a book. But I'm not a professional book binder, so I like to go to um, the dollar store or a place you can buy some needles. And what I did is I got the upholstery needle. So we're going to use the upholstery needle here. And that's my phone. And this is just from an old mathematical instrument thing. So we're going to be using this for our poker. And in my original book, I did use the black thread for binding, if you can see that. I'm trying to get the camera focused on it, but it's shadowing. 
There it is. But I thought since we're going with the aqua, I did I put my finger in it? Good job, Kara. Then we're gonna go with this. So we're gonna grab that, that, my binding needle. And look at that. I got that little kit at a thrift store, thrift find. Okay, so first we're gonna need to is get the cardboard ready. I just, this cardboard here is from the back of one of my drawing books. It's really awesome card, it's not very thick. It's very good to use. And I forgot a ruler. One moment, please. Okay, so how big did I make this one? All right, so where's our center point? Three and a half would be a sixteenth. So one and a half and a quarter and an eighth. So that's our center. So I'm making the back of the book, the book spine right now, just marking that out. Oh, that's my measurement. One and three quarters. Try that again. Yeah, one and three quarters. I love candle holders. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. And an eighth. I'm going to be making some, a little, for this month, I'm going to be making a nest and I'm using eggs as my candle holders. <laughs> Is that straight? Oh, it looks bigger on one side. It's interesting. Check my measurements again. Oh, one quarter and an eighth. I went a little big on this one. Okay, so this part, we're going to need scissors and we're going to score it so I can fold it. So pressing down quite hard. It's a really, and then it will be easier. Oh, quite a bit of pressure. You do on both sides. Oh, then, eek, then we got a little book, the beginning of a little book, and that way we're not, it's not opening up. And that way the cardboard doesn't split when you score it first. But what I thought I'd do is what we're still going to do is we're going to put Mod Podge glue over top of the whole thing. And we're going to do a texture effect as you can, I'll show you on this side. We can, we're going to do this check texture to make it look like leather, but actually I did uh, the color shift on this one with the red and I did color shift on the inside with the red, but why don't we do an aqua with this book since we're doing the aquas with it, that might be kind of cool. Let's do the pages here. Okay, get our pages set up. Oh, 
have to figure out how wide we're going to make them. I'm just, just going to eyeball it here. So they, where's my pencil? How did I do that one? Um, just about here. And then the strips are going to be about that wide. Okay, so what's my measurement? Almost an inch and a half. Okay, I need to I need to go this way. It's, I'm trying to do it for the camera, but I just I just can't popped in. I cannot any just checking if I have any rips. This paper can be a little bit fragile after it's dyed sometimes. All right. All right, now we check. It's got a nice distance around. They got an eighth of an inch border around each. So I would like oh, about there. Okay, so let's cut a few more strips here first. inch and a half. Just going to use the whole sheet of paper and this book is going to be totally, totally usable because I got ADHD and if there's something here that I can't play with, that's not a fun time for me. So everything we're not, I, originally I glued this on and now this time I'm not going to glue this on so I can move it around the house. Maybe I want to move stuff around and, pe and play with it and be a little more interactive with it. Okay, so our next measurement is what? Three and three-eighths. Three and three-eighths, okay. One, two, three. Now let's do a check. And then if not, if we're good, that's going to be awesome. Oh, oh, so cute. Okay. Now we can get a bunch of strips cut. love this dyed paper. I made my mom this junk journal, seed journal thingy for Christmas. It was so much fun. And I dyed so many sheets of paper and I still had some left over. But I, after this project, I'm going to need to dye some more paper. Oh shit, I cut that one too short. That's what happens when you cut paper at the same time. Bummer. I'm not going to use that one. Oop, I got some more. Almost there, and then we can bind our book, which is actually going to be so quick. We're not going to do anything fancy. We're just going to sew it together. Now, I think I used a fair bit last time. Oh, 
miniature books. Heck yeah. Okay, that one's pretty good. So I will put that one, that little signature, put that one on the inside. All right, now we're going to open up our pages. Now, this doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, you can buy the, all these special tools and everything you can for book binding. I am in no means a hobbyist or professional in any way, shape, or form. I have literally bound probably three books or something. And they were signatures for junk journals. So, uh, yeah. And then just wiggle it around, create a bit bigger of a hole. Then you're just puncturing in. I like to hold it on the side so that way it's not going to tear the pages. So I'm caught and putting pressure down as I'm putting pressure upwards. There we go. Now I'll just put some weight on that. Now you can use any color you want. I'm just color coordinating with what we're rocking out today. Now this is an upholstery needle and it's a really, it's just, or you could use um, a yarn needle will work out really well as well. A yarn needle will be thick enough. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. We're going to go wait this way. We got, we go this way first. Yeah. Hi yeah. Oh, I'm excited. And then we're going to go back in through this way. Normally I do about normally because I'm so professional. <laughs> normally I would do like three or four holes depending on what I was up to. But this is quite enough. I know that's a little bit wasteful, but I didn't want to be without Oh, this is going to look cute with the blue. And I think this one, I'm going to leave a bow in the center of it. Just to give it a little bit of a, a whimsy. Super easy. Very, very fun. Now what I'm just going to do... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I have to use those big scissors. Okay. Easy peasy. Now what we're going to do is we need to glue it in. Oh, actually, last time I had to paint around it. You know what? That's okay. Did I get any paint on the pages? No, I didn't. Ah, humbug. I got to paint over the glue anyway. So what we have next is I just printed out that it, I can't paint it that small. It says Book of Shadows. It's backwards right now. I wonder if you can read it backwards. Ha ha ha. It's a light. Um, I just made a, just a rectangle, took the old English font, dropped in some little designs, and because I just, I guess if I really wanted to, I could paint that, paint the letters that small, but that takes a lot of time and I didn't want to waste that much time on a live video for that too. So got a little book of shadows for the front of that. Should we make, ooh, should we make our book of shadows? Because uh, inside of this, I have the color shift sparkly paint. Oh, I got the color shift spark. We're going to do that one blue. I'm just talking here.
Now I'm using flat matte Mod Podge. And that's all right. Let's put that over there. Oh, these sparkles are drying so amazing. The camera doesn't do it justice. Will it focus that? It's a little, oh, so pretty. Sparkle, sparkle. God, I love all things tiny. <laughs> and we're going to run a bead. Oh. I globbed out a little bit there. And just smooth it out. Control the line a little bit more. Oh yeah, let me show you a trick I was gonna do. Where, oh no. Put the little clothespin on it. Got to hold that in place. <laughs> it's okay because we're listening. I know. I'm talking away to myself. All right. So on the front of that cover, we are going to now glue this one on. <laughs> I kind of grabbed like an old brush. I'm not going to use, you see, I trashed the heck out of that. I'm not going to be using um, a really nice brush for my glue. I want to create a bit of texture here in a moment. So we'll do that just a sec. Let me just glue on a title page. And you can have it say Grimoire. I, I just thought Book of, Ch Book of Shadows would just be cool. I never had a grimoire at first. I always had a book of shadows. I, I just thought that's what it was called. It's what I grew up with. I didn't know it was Wiccan. I still like to call it a book of shadows. Let's see. So now we want to give, we want to get into the cracks along here on both sides. And that's going to give us a little bit of a reinforcement with the cardboard because it my other one, my first one I made, I didn't score both sides, just the one side. And um, it, it kind of uplifted a little bit. So now I'm just going to dab it. And this is going to create our leather look. So this will be enough texture that it, when we dry brush, it'll look like a leather effect. Yeah, I don't know. I never like grimoire so new to me. I always like charmed book of shadows. Uh, what was that? So practical magic. They had a book of shadows, and their book of shadows looked a lot like how I would imagine. Like I have my book of shadows has a lot of symbols in them. I'm a deaf. I'm obsessed with hieroglyphics and symbolism and. So I wound up studying them for quite a few years. I made a lot of my book of shadows to go with. Now this is going to take a bit to dry. And we're going to jump ahead a little bit. So we're going to just leave that there for a moment. And what I've done is I have another one that is ready for us. And we have the, it's textured, it's dried, and it's ready to go. So I didn't know how long that was going to take. So I thought I'd just have that ready. And it actually looks like these are dry too. So we're going to put this aside for a sec because I need those to dry. We're going to come back to white and we're just going to hit these dots super quick now i'm using i'm using the tip of a pencil for this one this is how fine those little dots are going to be you may need a magnifying glass for this i really wish i had one 
and you hold your breath and you put your tongue in the right spot. Oh, little dotty dudes. This will take me just a moment and then we'll go back to the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got to hold your tongue in the right spot and you got to hold your breath. These are adorable. I cannot wait to make that mushroom shelf. I'm gonna make a little shelf instead of displaying all different types of little spoons. I'm gonna do all kinds of little mushrooms that I've collected and dried. I usually photograph the heck out of mushrooms, but we have some good, oh, let's go off topic anytime you want. I have ADHD, my friend. I welcome it. Oh, that dots are a little too big. Scheisenhower. All right. Easy peasy. I don't know if we can see them. Okay. We got to do things in stages, and soon we'll be able to build it all together, build it all up. We're going to need some moss for the book, but a special kind of moss. Okay, that's still drying. Let's go to here. Now let's go into paint our book of shadows first and then we're gonna do hopefully it'll dry a little faster or else we what else can we hop into i guess while the book of shadows is drying we can hop into the last thing we have to do is our potion bottles and then we're going to start assembling everything together black and you know what we're going aqua this book of shadows has the red shimmery color shift which was original plan to do the same thing but it's, it's fun not to plan anything okay Looking for a paintbrush that I need. It's in the water. Just grab more paper towel. A sec here. I had to announce that so it didn't sound like I was farting as I was ripping the paper towel. Oh, yeah, we got to paint gold on the papers too. So, what I did is I took a bit of gold. And I did a dry brush on that there to make it look like an older book too. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start off at the front here and drop it in the paint. So painting right to the edge. Now I'm trying to do a lighter coat so it'll dry faster. And then what I did, I just kind of dabbed so I'm trying to, sh there we go. There it shows the, the difference of the black. I'll hold it right there. And then just dabbing in so you don't see where the paper begins and ends. And this, I did the texturing all over. You can see how nice it dries. It'll dry nice and clear. Excellent. Very good. All right, so I'm going to hold on to the paper clip. Make it easier to paint. I'm excited to see how the aqua is going to turn out on the dry brushing. An aqua, that would be like a water witch book of shadows. Oh. 
And I got some squiddy things planned, some octopus things planned for my water witch videos come this. I'm, I don't know if I can wait till total summer, but I might wait at least till June. But I'm excited. I have some, um, I got this ink bottle that's got this toy octopus with it right now. But I want to make a really, like, really cool, realistic octopus coming out of uh out of the ink bottle or something and i don't think it'll look cool I'll have it crawling out <laughs> all right so i'm feeling total metallic on the inside we're going aqua oops looks like we're gonna need to do a few layers and i got two ridiculous i did so well painting the other one and then i just touched the paper son of a but i gotta paint over that glue oh i'm watching it and i'm not keeping it on camera Looks like we might have to do a couple couple layers of this trans, translucent because I'm also dipping it in black as I'm going, I'm seeing. I kind of like that. It's got some black streaks in it and I dig it. I think I'm going to add a bit more. Hmm. All right. Got to remember to do the inside of the book binding, cover over the, the hot glue. Oh, it's a pretty. Oops, settle down. Got a little too fast again. This is such a gorgeous color, can't deny. I use this color so much. Like I said, even my van. My van's got this color. Ah, I got some on the paper. I'm going to have to rip one of the papers out. Oh, this is looking so pretty. Oh, I got to put a bit of black. I like the blacky streak dudes. Now, is this almost dry? It's almost dry. Yay. A couple shiny spots. Oh, I'm loving this color. Oops, I'm getting black everywhere. And this little book you'll be able to use too. So you'll be able to take notes like... I think when I do my mushroom diorama, I'm going to make a little mushroom hunting book too. Mushroom hunter's book. And then I, or I might have all the pictures of all edible mushrooms. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll have all edible mushrooms in the little book. I'm just going to touch up some black. I'm, let's see. Here we go. I hold my breath a lot when I paint, when I paint little things I've realized. Okay, let's let that dry for a little bit because I want to dry brush the outside. While I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit and we're also going to need, ah, that's one way. Oh, you guys can hang out here. What the heck? Just dropping things on the floor. Okay, we got scrolls everywhere. We need those two mushrooms for the book. We need that for there. But meantime, while we're waiting for the book to dry, what I'm going to do is we're going to start on the little, let's see here. What do we got? Can you move out of the way? Uh, 
this is almost dry. I wonder what color book this, maybe this one can be a mushroom, or it says Book of Shadows on it. I don't know. I'll have to make more mushroom books. So I got some labels here. I printed them out black and white and just grayscale but then I took my markers and I colored them the colors that I wanted and so they're just going all the aquamarine we're going to do some old school fun effects do you remember when you mix oil and water and you make little potions when you were a kid ha, that's what we're going to do so this will be super quick and then we got the book oh I just see a little touch-up spot on the book I need to do I missed a spot Just see a little spot I missed here. It must have been under my finger. Ah, oh, shit. I'm getting aqua everywhere. That's okay. It's a nice color. Ding. Okay. Now I want, for that one, I had the poison. And then the tall one, I had the rat. And then we could use whatever for these guys. We can always do something a little different. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I think this will look super sharp. Get these little guys cut out, modge podge them. And I would love these two. And let's grab something different this time. Hmm. I'll grab the elixir one. Now I just grabbed these offline. You can get free miniature bottles. Uh, just little labels, and then I printed them out even tinier, as tinier as I could possibly get it, and just colored them in whatever color you'd like. You can also get some really good labels off um, uh, Etsy as well. Some people are absolutely brilliantly creative. I love getting digital downloads. Oh, I think a mushroom book would be cool. We have morels coming up soon, light and dark morels. They'll be coming up in the end of April, May, usually around May. I did a mushroom video on some foraging I did in the, um, in the fall. We picked a lot of mushrooms and I got a lot of beautious ones, but I'm really looking forward to the morels. I don't know if there's any chanterelles around here, but I know there is back home in British Columbia. Those ones go really, really well. Let's have a little look here. Let's modge podge these ones. Which ones are glue? I can't remember. I think that one sparkles. This one's glue. Okay, so I got these little teeny tiny bottles. Yeah, I might, I want to make a, I got a foraging book. Where's my foraging book? Oh my God. Tamara, you're going to love this. Check out this. Oh, it's backwards, but common mushrooms of the Northwest. So I've been inspired. I've been like going through all these little mushrooms and sculpting mushrooms the past few days because I can't collect any mushrooms right now so then I'm, I'm gonna sculpt them out of polymer clay and paint them to match because I love mushrooms I love eating them I like collecting them I love photographing them I come from a long long line of mushroom hunters 
my daughter's going to start mushroom hunting with us, uh, foraging this summer, actually. I'm super excited. I got paint and everything all over my fingers. Now with Mod Podge, it's really nice that you could go over it again. And actually, if you spill any oil or the water on it when you're filling it, it'll help seal that and it won't wreck your label. And it dries again clear. So you don't see. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's put those guys out of the way. Hello from United Kingdom. Hello, hello. Well, greetings from Canada. We're about in United Kingdom. Are you from Michelle? I need my tweezers. <laughs> ah, I don't know what side I painted now. Let's do it all again. And this one says elixir. I love it. I love small old antique bottles. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Seal that up quick. Got another one and another one. Put that, put all those ones over. And this one, what should we do? Let's do the spell of dragons. What does it say? Veil, Veil de Dragons. Ooh. South near the sea. Ooh. Are you a sea witch? Are you a water witch? There's so many beautiful things you could collect around that area. Ah, I made a mess. I guess that label's going down a little further down now. I used to live by the ocean. Oh, welcome to our happy place. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll be able to start, once I finish the dry brushing on the book, then we can finally start assembling. Oh, why did this paint color change? No, it didn't, I'm just crazy. Then we can start assembling this piece. If you want, I could also make a miniature broom today. I did bring the supplies if it's not too late. <laughs> but it wasn't in the original. But I was like, I've totally forgot that I was going to be making a broom for this little guy. So I could do one today. I cut some twigs from my lilac bush. Yeah, we could do a little, a little besom as well. Okay, now that those are all sealed, we'll come back to that paint. I love making glue gun art. Collective of nature. So yeah, I'm freezing at the moment. Yeah, we're cold here too. Love this mushroom. I'm definitely going to be practicing with the glue gun. Definitely. All right. So let's sort these out here. So if I remember right, so when I made these ones, I had half and half of, I don't know if you can see it, of oil and water but it didn't turn out as cool. It should be like bubbly. So I think I'm gonna do less oil in this one. See, this one turns out a little bit better. This kind of has a hemoglobin, hemoglobin look to it. I gotta do, I gotta do more crafting on Sundays because I am so enjoying just chilling out because I craft all the time anyway. <laughs> All right, I just threw some oil in here. I have sunflower oil at the moment. Let's see here. One. Let's 
So if I'm going to do, oh, there we go. One part oil, two parts water. And I'll also need, I'm not going to do green. I'll put green in here, but I'm not going to do green because there's so much green moss that I think this might, I might kind of lose it. So one, two, three, four, five for that one. Got some just a normal food coloring. One, two, three, four. These bottles are so small, it's like taking up most of the space. It's funny. One, two, three, four. And we can't really see through the brown bottle. But it's still nice to we'll get some coloration in there. Now I can't, I don't have an eyedropper. So just remember when you're a kid and you used to just sit there and just pull things out with your straw and piss around. That's what we're doing here. I think I better hang on to this. I'm just gonna drop this in. Getting there. Okay, this, this time I'm going to use less oil. Is this a brand of paint deco art? I have I have the Glamour Dust Deco Art, uh, folk art for the color shift. And all my metallics are deco art. Yeah. That one worked a little bit better. Oh, I'm so glad. See, I just got oil all over that. So I'm so glad I sealed that or else I would have made a mess on my label. And the elixir. The, the elixir wound up being the yellow one. Oh, ew. We'll call it ginger. The ginger elixir. Okay. Old school this up, make it, this is funny that we're actually making children potions on a potion on a witch's channel. <laughs> I, I'm actually making oil and water potions. This is fun. Not actual witchy potions. This is so much fun. I love it. Okay. Now if this works out, I got the ink or the dye in the bottom. Now this should work out. Come on now. Because my, my last potions I made, oh yeah, I think I put too much oil. Just about put too much. Oh, we better seal it with some glue. Don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself. All righty. Oh, yeah. Now that looks cool. All right, let's check it. Did it work? Hemoglobin, dragon blood. Yes. Oh, so the bubbles aren't showing up. Let's see if we can get this. Hemoglobin, dragon blood is in the mixture. Actually, the, yeah, it actually says 
Belle du Dragon. Alrighty. That is my French accent. Because I cannot speak French, even though I'm from Canada. My French accent usually sounds like Puss in Boots, but that's okay. Woo! Bit too much water, so I'll just take out a bit of that. I want to have a bit of room so it'll still mix. Okay. Oh, seal this again so I can play with it right away and make sure it's again, everything's got to be interactive. Because I'm an ADH witch. Oh, yeah. This is Jus de Rat. Rat Essence. Another bottle done. Actually, I kind of like the green in this one. It's showing up. I didn't think it would. All right. These are so cute. Oh, you know what we need? Just like we did with here by making it look like a wax stamp seal with the hot glue i should melt some hot glue on this oh then it'll look like more potion bottles might have to happen oh one shot wonder that'll do it the elixir the, the yellow elixir so gross Casually burning self. Alrighty. Those are done. Now I think what I'm going to do is one more step. And we're going to melt some hot glue on top. And then we're going to paint that and make it look like a wax stamp seal. Because the dragon blood has stuff mixing out. So let's just... It already has stuff pouring out. So let's do some drops. Make it look all witchy and cool. There we go. Heck yeah. Juice of rat. Juice of rat. Oh, we need some more hot glue. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Mix again. Yeah, one third sunflower oil. With water, about four drops of food coloring. You betcha. Yeah, I found the less oil worked out. Looks a lot better. And then when you shake it up, it looks like potions. So sweet. And we'll get the elixir. I don't think my brown bottle, I'm going to put a wax seal on it. It looks really cool the way it is. I was mixing frosting. Ooh, what you making? Okay, that's done. Now, so is our book. So our book's all done that part. So I would like to go and do our dry brushing now. Now I'm going to go with a brush that's a little bit, mm, I don't like that one's got glue on it. Now that one's nicer. So it's got more of a, it's, it's, it's older. So I'll use them for my dry brushing. It's got a little more stipply. Special brownies. I want to come over to your house and play. I love special brownies. Come over to your house, come foraging. Eat some special brownies. 
Okay, this is how I do my dry brushing. I get it so it's almost nothing left. So it's super, super light. I have to get a bit more now. And then we're going to pull. Just lay in it super light. It's best to go by layers. And just go the opposite direction so you won't see streaks. And it'll start pick. There it is. There it goes. Now it's getting that leather look. Good for the soul. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm coming through Vancouver, man. And we're gonna go foraging. Happily skip with magical mushrooms down the road while eating special brownies. Plus teas. Yay. Oh. Burnham actually made the, um, the love potion tea with cannabis as well. Just genius. That would taste so good. Oh, I really love the aqua, aqua dry brushing. Again, I did the, the red on this one. And this one we're doing the aqua. Oof. And I'm going to just do rounded so I can get into around the letters. So, Dana, you can't see that I had a paper there. Look at that. And a little bit more here. Oh, the book is fabulous. All right, now we can add moss to the book. Feeling that. Okay, moss is where it's at. Now we got our moss. And we got to add for this, the two smallest mushrooms that you made. Finely ground decarbed herb. Ooh, taking notes. <laughs> We're all natural witches here. So we got some moss around the edges, sides, a little bit in the front, a little bit in the corner. Hot glue's our friend. So let's kind of work. Hmm. Let's put in our, our put in our babies first. Now it was good that we have the pokey part because it's going to be a little hardy in the spine and we'll go and clip that off in a little bit. So with great ease, oh, I see why we're all witch friends. Totally. Oh no. See, I got to watch. It doesn't snap. Oh, I snapped the mushroom. We're grabbing another one. Oh, I have to use it. It's the only sparkly one. Damn it. It snapped off at the back. Slow pressure. Come on. It's going through hot glue and everything. I'll just touch that up and you won't be able to see like a little bit of the wire pocked out there, but I'll just touch that up. Oh, that one broke too. It didn't happen to me last time. Where's my other mushrooms? to go back to my box of mushrooms the leftover mushrooms I have let's see here I, I didn't let's see the little ones I'll take that one I'll take a couple more in case I crack them old time fudge yeah okay let's do this actually what I can do first let's poke the holes first I'm not wrecking any more mushrooms Let's do that. Poke the hole. There we go. 
There we go. Be smarter than the average bear, Kara. Now I'm going to pull that out a little bit just so I can add some glue to secure those. Doesn't matter if we have the glue blotched out because we're going to be adding adding our no real topic. Never. There's always topic for plant medicine. Blunts not bullets, my friends. Plants not pills. Alrighty, now let us add some moss around the mushrooms down the spine. I got to work a little bit fast for this part. Oh, I love watching people craft. It gets my brain going. I'll sit there and craft for hours. I've been binging on uh, um, Nerd Forge, Nerd Forge, Forge Nerd. I've been binging her stuff and her and her Mister there. They have some amazing stuff. I want to do a. I want to do an art challenge. Where I do, she did this art challenge on her show where she went away for seven days in a cabin by herself. Her boyfriend and friends each wrote a letter. Uh, it's under the green witchery, forest witchery, for sure. Green witchery. And uh, each one of her friends or her boyfriend had wrote a different challenge she had to do for the painting. It was really, really, really cool. And she didn't know what they were going to be. And they challenged her to live outside the box on it. Let's see here. I would love to go away and just paint, get away for a bit. Again, no right or wrong, just however it looks, however it feels. I'm loving the blue on this. I got extras. I love the moss. I need some other moss, so. This little reindeer moss has proved quite worthy. I got it simply because of color first, and then I'm finding all these little neat attributes about it. All right, our book is done. All righty, we can put that one over here. Our aqua book is done. Oh, we also added new mushrooms, so we better just give... Oh, that's white. Where's my sparkles? Cannot forget that because we added new mushrooms. So these ones didn't have sparkles on them. And what do sparkles do? They make the world go round. Yes. Alrighty. Done. All paint away. We don't need that. We don't need that. We got everything assembled. We just got to paint over top. Uh, what color should... I had a drop of Dawn soap. Ooh. What color should our stamps or our wax be on our potion bottles? Black or red? What do you guys think? Should I make them black or red on top? I'm going to do like a wax. Oil. I'm not going to do it on this one. I kind of like it the way it is. Okay, that'll go in the pile of done. I broke that mushroom. All right, let's. I got to clean up some mess here. Give me a sec here. That can go in the pile of done. I don't know what color to make this. If I should go black or red.
red or black. I'm going black, I guess. For a magic look, add a dust of eyeshadow. <gasps> oh, that'd be wicked. They'd be like a little mica powder. Like, you know, you get some of them with, um, oh, what do you call it? The, the mica powder rubs. Uh, it looks like a liquid eyeshadow almost. I used to use that when I used to paint ceramics. I haven't painted ceramics in a long time. Went through a phase there for a while. My stepmom and my dad painted ceramics a lot. A lot of cool wolves and native artwork. Yeah, this doesn't look bad. This looks like a wax stamp seal. Eee, I like it. Does that look like it has a wax steel on it? I don't know. Ooh, red with right dots. Hmm. I'll try red. I make it look like a red seal. I love wax. I have a serious wax stamp seal collection because I believe more people need to write snail mail. Not enough people send letters in the mail anymore. All we get in the mail now is bills or junk mail. So I love, I started um, on my Patreon, a snail mail tier as well. <laughs> Nobody's on it yet, but that's okay. Someday there will be some people on there and I'll be able to send them letters. Oh, I prefer the red one better than the black. We'll leave it at that. My kitty's here. He's a jerk. He likes to scratch my stuff instead of asking nicely to get out. You're asking nice right now, Samuel. That's really good. Hang on, little buddy. Don't go outside. Sweet little buddy, I've got to finish this painting bit. I really like the red. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, that's googly and awesome. Bubbly. Are you going to do this one up too, red? I think that'll look cool. And then I got to let my cat out because he'll start scratching my furniture because he's impatient. Just like me, except I don't scratch furniture. I'm just impatient. Hi, Samuel. Can you wait just a moment? Don't scratch my stuff, please. Almost there. Oh. Now I have, there he goes, scratching my stuff. Jerk! Stop it! I like that. Looks like blood. All righty. I like it. I like it. I like it. That looks cool. I'm going to need some more moss. Did this one break too? No, this is just an extra one. I let my cat out here for one moment because he will start scratching my stuff and I'll be very sad. We can move this one away. Uh, we're going to bring in I don't know which wand we'll use. This one's kind of wonky. I just wanted to paint it anyway, but we'll probably stick with that one. And that one. Those. Those. Hat. Scrolls. We got like three wands here today. I am sorry, folks. I need a quick, 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 quick 
break. I need to go pee so bad. I'm at three hours in and I've been drinking tea the whole time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If anybody comes in new to the show, please just like, I don't know. Here's look, you can look at a book. Uh, I will be right back. I'm so sorry. I can't hold it anymore. And my cat needs to go outside before he scratches my shit. Come on, buddy. All right, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Whew. That was some drinking a whole lot of tea. Oh, my God, an elf sphinx. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. This is it. This is it. Are we, are we, uh... oh, wait, do you guys want to see? I can make one more thing. I can make a broom. <laughs> should I should, should I do a broom here quick? Do we need a broomstick too? We need a broomstick. I'm going to be finished this and I'm going to be sad. I'm making a broom. Grabbing some water. Now this is going to be a lilac broom. Oh yeah, I got these too I might put in. Oh, you're cool. I went out last night in the dark and I got all kinds of lilac, so... Hmm. <laughs> I should have looked up what the magical uses of lilac is. Silly me. Yeah, I had that. I, I dried a bunch of lilac flowers last year to make some lilac oil for the winter time, and I haven't made any yet. Because lilac, I thought, would be special because it only grows for a month, or the flower anyway, only grows for one month. Oh yeah, what I was gonna do before, so you don't see me struggle, I'm just going to, I'm gonna hot glue this a little bit because I did hot glue my first one I made last night and it's, actually it's empty on one side so we don't see that, we just pretend we don't see that. But this will be easier to assemble, ha. Huh. Smarter than the average bear. Hmm. hmm. This is working, but I want to hide the glue. You're going to see the glue. Oh. Hmm. I think we might need to grab some twine and to hide the glue because I don't want to see any glue marks on this. I want it to look as real and miniature as possible.
Oh, I got twigs flying everywhere. It's going to be a fun cleanup later. Do it in the name of art. I guess this is like a crafting month too. It's a month for crafters. So uh, national crafting month. So what does that mean? We get to get away with more. We get to do more. We get recognized as crafters. Yeah. Oh, that's taking shape. Ooh. Yeah, I think what we're going to do, that's enough. I'm going to put a bit of a twine around it instead. And that'll hide the glue. I got my other craft table just over beside me. So I have this pretty, pretty good here. Two, 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 three, four, five, six. I don't know why I always count. I think I'm used to like Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. Or the count. I love the vampire, the count. One. Oh, oh, oh. He was the best. I think the count was my favorite. Maybe it was like a future goth ahead of me. Let's put a little bow on it. Why not? We got the room. It can be cute. Yeah. Well, I am liking that. I wish I would have made a room for the first one. That's okay. We got another one made. There. Super stoked. A little lilac. A lilac branch. Okay. All right. Now this is exciting. We didn't go with this. That's okay. Oh, now, finally, the assemble. Let me move some stuff here. There's a lot of stuff on this diorama. I think that's how you spell it. Besom. Besom, besom. So we got to put on our little snail got that painted we got our handle painted we got our side bits our side handles we're gonna put these guys in now and with our moss and symbol the whole thing so if I excuse me for a moment my other table has our platform so I'll get that push our little besom off to the side Now that is, this has been drying for a couple hours now. So what we can do is simply we can turn it upside down and I'm interested to see how much really falls off. Not as much as I thought. And this is it. Look at that little woodland forest. Okay. Oh yeah, so I'm not gluing this down this time. So I don't need this right away. So let's decorate. Let's get our mushrooms in here. Now I'm going to be smarter this time. I'm going to poke it first. So I don't break the mushrooms like I did when I was putting them into the hat. But we need, oh, can we do some little books? The little books, are you, we have to make a, I'll, should, I'll do a mushroom hunter. That's what I'll do. I'll do a mushroom hunter book and I'll do a little printable and you can print out the little pages with edible mushrooms. Um, Fernum, am I spelled, am I pronouncing your name properly? There's me door. How do I pronounce your name properly, my love? What I might do is, uh, I was showing this book. Where's my book? It's funny. Uh, that's what I want. That's what I meant. So Common Mushrooms of the Northwest. I was showing this book earlier. So it's funny. You're from Montana, too. So we'll have, we'll have Coastal. There it is. We'll have Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories, British Columbia, Alberta. It looks like a bit of Saskatchewan, Montana, Idaho, top of California, Oregon, and Washington. So to kind of cover for there for a lot of us. It 
Are you talking about like uh, microdosing and that? When I injured my shoulder, I injured my shoulder so badly that uh, the pain I was in, uh, no medicine was helping. I had a dislocation for 10 years. No one believed me. It was dislocated. Good times. So we're going to put, this is, uh, so I used microdosing actually for with mushrooms to help me with the ease of pain. I made, I called, I made these little ones actually. I grew little ones that were actually about this size and I called them my little silver bullets. Oh, they were awesome. Let's just add this stuff here. You could use styrofoam. You can um, just grab some tin foil for this next step. And you can just crush it up. You can push it all in here. We, we got to make a bit of a base. So uh, we're not having to fill the full thing up with moss. So somewhere there were the moss to sit and somewhere for the mushrooms to push in. Now, these stems I did on these mushrooms, I made the stems longer. Uh, be, and then they should probably be a little bit shorter. But I made them longer because they're going to be poking into the foam and staying there. So that will be help us out. So, again, you can put tin foil in there if you want. Hot glue be your friend. But I'm just going to... Just going to start building up the base inside here. If you guys love miniatures, oh my God, I will make more miniatures. When I lived on Vancouver Island, I had addictions to miniatures. It was really bad. I actually spent a lot of money. <laughs> I was making, instead of the die cast model cars, what I was doing was uh, I was making these die cast house miniatures. Oh my gosh. So sweet. All these old-fashioned vintage furnitures. Now the mushrooms on the side are also going to poke into this too. I didn't know how this video was going to be received actually because it's not – it's witch, it's witchy stuff. It's witchy diorama, but it's not like a pagan crap. So I didn't know, but I'm I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. So, so, so glad. Because I make a lot more crafts at home um, than you see on this channel, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I make a lot of... So, I was just like, that's why when I made this the other night, I'm like, I got to post it. I didn't get time to, I didn't film it either. I was just farting around watching YouTube and making crafts. And then I said, I'll do this for Sunday. Okay. So now that we're all filled up with this stuff, now let's put in our mushrooms and we're going to drop a little hot glue in there when we're going along, but let's, let's puncture where we want first. We're going to, we're going to stagger them down around the handle and then down to the bottom here. So our first guy, I'm going to poke the hole. The eyeshadow just works like mica powder. Oh, my God. That'd be wicked. And I'm going to put, how did I do this? I want to make them pretty good. I was pretty happy with the location. You can hear my dog snoring again. And right there and one right there. Now let's hot glue these. One, two. Three. Now one of them, there we go. Now most of them are pretty bent and pretty square, but there's one of them that you have a, a slighter bend because it's going around the edge of this lip. So I kind of chose one. There we go. That will won't be too tight around it. So it pops out.
And definitely put a little glue blob down to hold these because sometimes they can fall out of place. There we go. Oh, mushrooms. I got this mica powder, soft powder stuff that I was supposed to be for rubs for my ceramics. I forgot about that until I just found them the other day. I should, I should use that. Oh, that would have been cool for the rub for the buck. <gasps> I'll bring out my, I'll bring out my eyeshadows and I'll make when we make the mushroom books. What color should our mushroom hunter book be? Oh. I got to figure out, a, what color, I guess, browns, greens. We haven't done browns and greens yet. Hmm. Hear my dog snoring away. I have a Boston Terrier. They like to snore. They like Frenchies. They snore a lot. Oh, I got a little excited with that. Take some of that away. Got to work fast. I forgot to pull some off before we're ready. <laughs> I forgot to set out chopsticks. I usually use chopsticks to help get my stuff glued in. I think I might just put that piece on there. I kind of like that. Put them up there. Yeah. Earth tones, yeah. Hmm. Maybe olive, some burgundy, some browns. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll do some little printouts of edible mushrooms or different mushrooms we can find. I have a white German shepherd. Oh, I love puppies. Dogs are the best. White German Shepherd must be so beautiful. I'm really liking that these have sparkles on the mushrooms. I should I like the flat, but I like, I don't know which one's my favorite. Okay, happy with that. Now, I kept the pin in this one. I put the pin in it uh, to help me paint it. But I decided to keep her in there. I'm just going to take off the top of that. And then that'll give me my home put that in but we'll drop that in in just a moment let's find a home for all our mushrooms here I used to oh, that's right I forgot I got to reinforce this because it moves around drop a little glue in the hole mushrooms oh it's kind of I like how she said Thomas it's, uh, I like how it's coming down the sides I kind of want to make it look like an, an old growth kind of forest put that one in 
going with five this time. I always like even numbers for certain things. I don't know why I didn't do the five before I like that. I like this guy. He's got a good curve to him. He'll come off the side. All right, moss it up now. These ones are a little bit more stringier. I kind, of, I, I kind of used all the best stuff already. You can see how some of it's a little more mossier there. I might have accidentally cut a lot of it up. That's okay. Oops, I got to put the lid up. Get that up. Okay, moss. Well, I think the best way I'm going to have to do this is actually maybe pinch it all up first because there's too many pieces, not enough good. This is reindeer moss, but it's not enough good stuff around it to, it's pretty stringy. So we'll just make the best of it. We'll keep this stuff off to the side. Okay. Now, just a matter of filling it in. And I have some of it kind of coming down the sides a little bit here in the back too. But we'll just fill in the top part first. See how much I can get in there. Hmm. I think I might touch this up after I buy some more moss. Touch this up with some fluffier moss than just all the cut up bits. But it seems to be working out quite well. Throw some on the glue here. Mm, it's not bad. Now let's see here. Want a little bit coming in the back here. Hmm, I like to hide that stringy bit. Yeah, I don't think I'll put a list a little bit here. Needs a little bit on the edge. I need some bits here. I'm definitely running out of moss. Good moss. I need the fluffy stuff. Here's one little piece that's different. Hmm. I have not had to buy moss in years because I had a ridiculous, I kept losing my moss. So I kept buying more. <laughs> oh, there's some. Not really. 
Yeah, I kept losing the moss that I bought, and I kept purchasing more, and then I had a ridiculous amount of moss, and then I collect moss, too. I forage for moss. Oh, my God. Just far too many. I'll take that one and let that go. <laughs> I love moss. Let's put some little bits. Okay. Now we need a home for our little snail. I think right here would be super cute. Oh, I think I got to put him on a bit of an angle. There we go. That'll hop, pop it out. Okay, we're assembling. Oh my gosh, you guys, coming to an end. Oh. Okay, we got our base. Got our cauldron with our moons and our little bitty mushrooms. I'm not gluing it down so I can play with it. Where's our book? Our book of shadows, still drawing a little. Actually, I'm gonna, it kind of lifted when I was painting it. I ah, don't screw with it. Doable, has little gold trim. We didn't cover the gold today, but you can just paint a little gold trim on the pages. Oh, I sad, I don't wanna assemble it. This is like the end now. Okay, we got our hat. Oh, I love our witch's hat. So we did the gray one with the other project and the aquamarine one. We put that one right there. Hmm. And we made some scrolls. We did the wood ones. We did the skewer through with the little brown ends here. We did some scrolls for some magical reference. I might just put that in the book. Our Bessem. Oh, I'll just put that right there. Yes, I made the little snail with clay too. My daughter had made a bunch of them. So I made the I made these skinnier dudes, but I like these ones. He made them kind of cartoony. Alrighty. Okay. So now we have a choice of wands. We got the Dumbledore. That's really, I don't know, that I didn't want to stay in my hand. Then there's this one with the crystal on. And then we have the, this is kind of wonky. It's not really straight. We did the amethyst with the metallics and sparklies. But it's kind of out of proportionate, kind of. So we'll put it on this one. That one can go over there. That one can go over here. We got our red book. Oh my God. We got our two. Let's look at them here. Got our scrolls, got our bottles. I think I'll go with this one. I'll go with that one because it all it's all the aqua. And the Dumbledore wand will go into another collection. Maybe we'll use that on a, we're going to make um, a witch's kitchen diorama, my daughter and I. So we're going to have some fun that way. And then we got all these little bottles, our potion bottles. I prefer the red. And 
And then our little poison bottle. And then I have these ones. I thought I had mainly citrine by the looks of it. Let's, you know what? I got some amethyst here. I think I have one more piece. I'll do citrine on this one. Citrine. Citrine can sit there. And then I have the amethyst. So let's give you some little amethyst crystals. And I thought I was originally going to take some wishing crystals and also put them throughout here as well. But I, I think it was just, it was enough. And I usually put crystals on everything. Like it's ridiculous. It's like sparkles. It makes the world go round. But I think it was enough. So I didn't put any, but I thought that could be also another thing of putting some sparkles in there. But I, it needs more crystals. <laughs> well, my goodness, it has been a day. We got three and a half hours in here. We had a lot of fun. I don't have anything else I can add. But what we'll do is I will do another, another short video of this with all our setup. And we'll have a shorter version of this video later if you guys want to go back to it. But I think this video has inspired the mushroom book. So thank you. Thank you, Tamara. So I think this inspired our next our next diorama that I got paint all over, a peacock. Uh, I'm going to do another mushroom diorama and do a mushroom hunter's book with it and do a little PDF download so you can download all the little mushrooms I found. I'll put some information on the, in the little book too, or if you want to have it so you can have it as a, like um, maybe one side of the page would be the mushrooms. And then the other side of the page, you can write little notes on where you found them, where you collected it, maybe magical uses or, or medicinal uses or psychedelic uses, whichever uses that you prefer. I think I had so much fun today. This is so cute. Well, my loves. I think we're going to have some fun here. I got to do some more crafting shows on my like, of like here. I can't even talk. I got to do some more online crafting shows because I do it so much at home. Anyway, might as well have some fun. I think we'll do the mushroom book next. I keep talking about it because I keep thinking about it. Sir, I got ADHD. It's going in my head more than it is. <laughs> cool. Well, my friends, thanks for chilling out with me today. I had lots of fun. I wish I could pick this up and show you at a little different angle. But the camera will not allow it for now. Woo! I love the aquas. So cute. All right, my loves. Well, I'm signing off. Thanks for chilling out with me today. I totally enjoyed my time with you. And if you have any ideas at all, maybe some other uh, crafting ideas that you'd like me to do online, let me know. I'm all for trying out everything. And enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. Have an amazing week and uh, have a great one. I'm in the camera here. Signing off. Have a good one. Love and light and blessed be. I can't get my mouse to work though. Here we go. <laughs>